my clock's the two minutes late, but anyways, here we go. Uh, uh demons, uh, Dario or Vengento, I said, but anyways, uh, <laughs> is it? Is it? <laughs> no, no, it's anyways. Welcome to Sunday Night Smackdown, <laughs> whatever. Um, hey, welcome Horror to Movie Horror. Review and Tractor Pull. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, welcome to Late Late Horror Show. Uh, I am Dino, and that is Ginger. One girly girl in the chat. Uh, yes, that's you. Um, she was putting her lip gloss on. Oh, <laughs> a girly girl. Well, you know, why do you have to tell everybody that? Because Maybe my lips are just naturally pink and shiny. No, it's the behind the scenes stuff. What? Anyways, um, <laughs> good to see everybody. Uh, Kathy is in the chat. Will Rosler. I love this channel. Thank you very much. Uh, love having you here. Good to see you. Uh, can't hi, wait to dive everybody. Into this. Yeah, hi, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait to uh, dive into this for sure. Uh, but Edward Stewart keeps saying fantastic film. Love this one. Oh. We got some. We got a discussion ahead for you, Edward. Um, Chris W. Horror junkie, thank you very much for gifting. And I saw the gifting from last night in the the super chat and everything. I never miss any of those, even if I'm not around. I always go back and I definitely see uh, the gifting. And definitely, uh, he definitely uh, does. Yes, and ho much love to you. Yeah, uh, you know I, I appreciate Likewise. it so much. Um, Bubba is here, Sandra, Emily, what's going on? Emily Thompson, um, CM, um, everybody's coming in. Jesus, Kathy, I think I said, JKS 80s horror fan. John, what's going on? Good to see you again. Harry Scott, CM, WWM. Yes, let's get ready to rumble. Hi, <laughs> um, Justin. Bridge Cat Ranch, uh, Black Roses, uh, Connie Clary. I think we can go on now with our our talk on this movie listen um lip gloss smells wonderful Dean. Uh, yeah okay we're not talking makeup anyways uh love you Chris <laughs> w. um <laughs> anyways uh thank you guys for being here um <clears throat> as usual give a thumbs up make sure you check out all the links subscribe join the patreon movie nights every friday all that good fun stuff um yeah and and let's get rolling uh ginger what is going on Oh, Dino, Dino, Dino. Yeah. Uh, ginger, ginger, ginger. I only a moment ago found out. <laughs> well, oh, oh, well, let's let's not go overboard on it. But listen, no, I was a little confused on it. This is a new movie for me. I've never seen me demons too. before. Same me with too. you. Uh, kind of every movie we see for the first time you've never seen um, mm -hmm. that we review. <laughs> Anyways, um, me, I'm going, I was going on this, I've been on a big giallo kick. Uh, for some reason I saw Demons, which isn't giallo, technically, although the movie itself had lots of bright yellows and reds and blues and colors in, in, in the... This movie? Yeah. Okay. Oh, they they used a lot of Go gel, on. gels with their their filming of this movie, and we got bright yellows and blues and reds. And I didn't even yeah. notice. Yes, of course you did. Um, Chad Farr, what's going on? Good to see you, Roger Stevens. Uh, good to see you. Um, but Demons was a movie I've never seen before. I, I saw it listed with Dario Argento. It was only today that I look back on only it. Only today. <laughs> that I watched it or looked at it and I went procrastinate um, much listen I go this is a Lamberto Bava film produced by Dario Argento but producing nothing um, Lamberto Bava son of Mario Bava the man and the legacy from Harrisburg yeah there you go yeah <laughs> But but Mario Baba was something. Uh, Lamberto Baba, uh, his son. Um, I, why demon else? 
Yeah. Yes. Why demons has become a cult classic is beyond me. And a lot of people do like it, but I am going to start this, this discussion off right away by saying, let, let me say this. It was, yeah, it was a fun, <laughs> it was a fun romp. Uh, it, it was something to not take serious. And, and that's yeah, what yeah. just suspend all expectations of entertainment or oh, no, yeah, plot. Yeah. Yeah. Or explanation, character development. Just let it be about the splatter and it the doesn't gore, have to make sense. Splatter. It's not going to make sense. And you just... don't Yeah, you don't need good acting. You don't, you don't need uh character development. You don't need although there was a little bit of character development, but uh for the most part this was just let's get some evil let's get some gore let's get some disgust it was like kind of an evil dead feel to it for me mm -hmm. uh mixed with like dead alive uh if you've ever seen that uh by peter jackson uh, you know with the the like the pimples popping and the pus uh, it and was the, i mean yeah the, the yeah. disgusting stuff you've seen but but it, then towards the end you get kind that of one a, scene yeah <laughs> i think it was the one we just talked about uh Dario Argento's daughter is in this. Yes, Fiore uh, Argento. And uh, when Dario. she does, yeah. is it, is she the one that the guy lands on her and he just spews this Oh, that happened stuff, a And it keeps coming and coming and you're like, all right. It happens a couple times uh. in this movie. Uh, the movie was mostly dark, Dino. You know, I think you're talking about Suspiria, LOL. Um no, 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 no. No, uh, it's this movie. It's in, this the, movie. in the movie theater, when they were filming, there are tons of scenes, even in the alley, where uh, Lamberto Bava would use, wh whoever was filming the film, Lamberto Bava, he's the director, uh, would use the gels, like they would do in a lot of like Dario Argento films. Uh, they're called gels that they would put, uh, you know, over the film to give it that yellow color or that red color, blue, purple. Whatever. I didn't even but, notice. Yeah. Oh, I didn't well, notice. I was just I, I like, could, I thank pick God out, the movie's only an hour and 25 minutes because I don't know how much more I could have stood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Grant, uh, what's going on? And uh, again, I, I, it's not that I hate the flick. Uh, I was no, very, no. I was very disappointed. Um, same uh, coming from I, I, I thought mean, we were gonna have this big battle that you like the movie well we can have like, battles why? Why? what's the like we, we can still have battles but it depends what it'll be over i don't know we we'll, we'll see uh you know there, there's a lot there's some cool things in the movie it, it, it was it was what it was it's a horror flick it's you're getting into you know the, what mid the 80s. best part about the movie is 80, the aesthetic yeah. in the 1985 in berlin can you imagine how Freaking awesome that would have been to be in Berlin making a movie in 1985. I mean, on the Metro in Berlin. I mean, on what a metro. blast. The music, oh, the soundtrack. Come on. Listen, the best thing about the movie was the soundtrack. Uh, all the names that uh, were there. I mean, it was if just If you're fantastic. a Gen Xer, like I yep. am, that movie yep. was Nirvana. Martin Wright, what's going on? Uh, Vampira's Coffin. Demons and Demons two is classics well at least they're classics me. in their own way they're classics i'm just saying the quality of this movie it's not a good quality movie it's got great effects but like yeah listen let's talk about well, let's talk about the opening scene because i want well, you to tell it. me okay let me break it down first and then i'll go to you for the opening scene and then we'll okay. get started on the movie uh because i want to break down real quick my thoughts on this Do movie that i, I I don't want to throw a homeless hate out there because I, it's I don't hate the film. It just no, I, I don't hate it either. I was a little disappointed. But right, I'm right gonna now. be honest. Exactly. Uh, I, I've been on a, a, a early Italian, early '70s Italian giallo kick. Um, this is Italian. this isn't even giallo. This is no, I know, I know, I know. But but and I'm getting to it. Uh, this is isn't late '70s. Uh, this is. Uh, not even early, we're mid 80s, we're 85, and you start getting into this different feel. And I think it was Lamberto Bava's or Italian um, cinema jumping into the horror genre uh, mm -hmm. as we've seen it starting to uh, build up in America. Yeah. Uh, with it just being 
you know, come on, uh, you know, mid eighties in America, horror really, when you came down to it was just about a fun, fun time with gore with, uh, you know, I guess, you, you know what I'm saying? Killings and this and that, you know what I mean? But, uh, it, it was just that for me. And I was expecting a lot more. Yeah, me too. Then I got, and you might need to turn your speaker down just a little bit. I'm Are you getting echo. echo? Yeah. And I can barely hear you. Excuse me. You, you can barely hear me. I uh, can barely hear you. You know I'm decrepit oh, and aged. No. Oh, no. So sorry. Albert Morel. I actually saw this movie in a movie theater that was really run down in Chicago. Entry was 99 cents. Watching this flick in the movie theater was really scary, though it was really like it was really going to happen and yeah it, it the whole movie was art you know repeating art i mean it was or going on at the same time whatever i don't know it was a weird movie uh, that's all i can say um so uh i guess why is there an echo oh, oh man goodness. come on i can barely hear shut, you uh, i'm gonna no you're fine you're fine i'm gonna shut up and let ginger talk about the opening scene no 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 let me turn it down a little bit more Okay, uh, Jacob, what's going on? Uh, Dino sound is fine with me. Good, Emily. Uh, awesome. Um, again, the it was a fun 80s romp. Okay, I'll say that. The German 80s aesthetic, uh, like you said, was awesome. I love that. Uh, you know, so there was a feel to the movie that I enjoyed. But um, if you're going in looking for, you know, really, really deep... Uh, this like ain't a, it. A, yeah, this character ain't that. development or story plot. And again, I think they were going for what things started to uh, happen in the 80s, where it was just, let's go get scared out of our, our, our pants and have some fun. And be grossed out. Just You're just being grossed out. Ew. Yes, you know, yes, yes. You're and, just being and, you know, out. That's kind of just my, my just beginning talk of it. Go ahead. What, how did it start? Um, and, and there was a great, I did like the eighties vibe that this had to it. Even immediately, though it was, immediately. Yes. Oh, and the train, uh, the subway, uh, it was fantastic. With all the punk rockers. And, uh, uh, Cheryl and Kathy, the two girls that at the beginning of the film. See, now just, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Then turn it up. I'm going to turn it up a You're little bit. Okay, so um, let's look at her going down. Jake has ideas are Gin Ginger. How are you doing, Dino? Leave her alone. Sound is perfect. <laughs> yeah, leave her alone, Dino. I'm leaving her alone. Big listen, poopy head. Listen, <clears throat> listen. Well, no, we we can't have an echo going on here. Livingston. I can't remember always looking at this one at the movie store. Livingston. Um, you listen if you're a horror fan you're gonna enjoy it i'm a horror splatter fan. House, like black roses said splatter yeah it's just a splatter movie yeah and, and even more so i think this is more in the vein of the peter jackson dead alive where you, like you get pus it's more it's, almost, and, it's, it's almost a zombie movie it, and i love yeah. zombie movies i'm zombie is my favorite genre of horror movies i love zombie ask justin is justin still here he knows i love zombie movies yeah, l listen, it, it, I think they were taking f from, you know, they, they called it demons. It's all about demons, okay? But there's Are they an, demons though? There's an element of zombies uh or a zombie film in this movie. So it, it is And listen, if I'm out of it a little bit, you guys, right before the show, I fell on something. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I thought I broke my knee. I, I want I want I want to uh, make sure that everyone grasps the difference between men and women in what Dino's about to tell you and my yeah. brief rebuttal. What Dino's about to tell you, and then when I give my rebuttal, you're all gonna put together the differences between the way men think and the way women think. Proceed. Uh, about me hurting my knee? Yes. Yes. Go on. Yeah, I, I listen. I, I almost thought I wasn't going to be able to do the show. I, I was up. I literally fell all my weight on my knee on an air conditioner. Okay, unit. Okay, 
And, and what have you done about that since that happened? What have you done? Listen, okay, so listen. So I thought I broke I broke my kneecap or something. I'm like, this hurts like hell. What am I going to do? Um, so I'm walking it off. I'm walking it off. I'm walking it off. And, um, you know, I had a good 30 minutes to check it out. It's not so And you did what? What did you do in that 30 minutes? What did you do I in that 30 minutes? I sat down and got ready for the show. Nothing. Not right. a damn thing. No. And there's Justin. He says, yes, Ginger, um, like zombies, <laughs> zombie movies, like zombie movies. Okay. So, the, yes, girls, I, I should have gotten a bag of frozen vegetables out of the fridge. Or Who freezer. said that? And Who told you that? You said that. Yes. Ginger I said, why don't That's you just a... run upstairs and get a package of frozen peas or something and put some ice on that right now? And what did you do? No. And you just bip, 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 bip. When I'm, I'm like, you got time. Just run upstairs. And... <sighs> the difference yeah. between men and you women. Know. So now it's, we're going to have to listen to him whining about his knee for the next three days. <laughs> oh, this, this girl can just continue to go on and on. And on, I get it. I'm a man. I just said, screw it. I'm going to just deal with the pain. And <laughs> okay, so let's get to the movie, Ginger. Um, do your opening thing. What are you going to talk about at the beginning of this film? There's, there's a couple of hot chicks. Uh, Kathy's particularly very, very, oh, very beautiful. And um, not that that means anything to anybody. I that's not what the movie's about. But you know, I had to point that out. So go ahead, Ginger. Can you get closer to the mic? Because I can't hear you. Can you hear me better? Yes. What do I gotta glue the mic to my lips? Okay, go ahead, Ginger. Uh, let, let me know what's going on. What's going on with this movie? This movie's insane. Um, I need mean you to tell me. Okay. The movie opens. Yeah. It does. There's a, there's a subway. It's a train underground. Yeah. That's a subway. Right. And I'm trying to figure out what city is this? What city is this? You know this? why? Because it's, what city it's is submerged. This? And it's, everything's in German. So I'm thinking that's the Berlin. That's the metro. And there's a young girl who looks like she could be Nev Campbell's mother. <laughs> okay. She looks like she could be Nev Campbell's mother. And she's real cute. She's real conservative. She's dressed like a good girl the way I used to dress. I could have been a Madonna or a Molly Ringwald. I was not allowed to be Madonna. I had to be a Molly Ringwald. I even got the Bob haircut and all of that. She was dressed like a Molly Ringwald, 80s, but not flashy, not punk rock, not Madonna. She was conservative. Girls, you remember the shoulder pads, the collar kicked up, all of that. And um, while she's on the train, she looks in the window and they're in a tunnel and it's just blackness out there going by. And she I'm looks scared. out and she sees what looks like a guy in a mask. A guy who has like a half a mask, silver like a Phantom of the Opera type Phantom thing. of the Opera mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what the? What, what, what just the happened? Fuck? There's no explanation. What, what, what the there's, it, it's never explained ever no. by the end of the movie. Never, still, ever, why, ever. Why did she see his face? Was it a premonition? Oh, oh, she had ESP. Yes, she was remote viewing and she didn't even know it. This uh, movie bites. It bites. <laughs> this movie bites. Listen, uh, to be positive, there, there was. This movie positively bites. If, if you're with a bunch of friends and watching this and you got pop. It, and you're 13. It could. Yes. And you, it could be fun. <laughs> but listen, you know. It, it's it's not it's not a masterpiece not, not by any means it's, <laughs> it's it's again and you know what else this is probably one of the worst out of all these early italian films or 80s or 80s, 70s 80s whatever you want to say uh, one of the worst dubbing jobs that i've ever seen in one of the movies now, uh, uh, uh maniac the dubbing was bad maniac remember i said the voices that they picked for these people like what why would you pick that but voice? this one, everybody sound totally like it just did not fit the people. You know um, what they sounded like? Do you remember? And, do you and remember they were Speed bad Racer? Do you remember Speed Racer? Yes. Okay, the original Speed Racer cartoon that came on after school. Yes. And everybody yeah. talked like that. It was like everybody. <laughs> I yeah. can't do it. But like their well, dubbing was like the, English yeah, wasn't their the, first language or. The dubbing well, was well, that's weird. The thing. 
Well, they always re like the overlay of the the English that they always did in these movies. Some of them were really good. Some of them were well done. This one was just terrible. Uh, the voices were <laughs> terrible, and even the people they got to dub it uh, sounded th their acting was atrocious. <laughs> so I mean, you get all of that. Uh, Edward Stewart, <laughs> Ted, help! <laughs> what? Uh, because uh, listen, I'm not ripping it apart. It, it was enjoyable, but uh, Ginger hated it so much, and and I'm like, uh, excuse know, me. I, okay, I said, can, I, I told Ginger, I, I, I said, don't, it. I said, don't be so negative on the movie just because you hate it. We get, <laughs> we get. Okay, so the subway system. She had this premonition. Then uh, this dude, after she gets off of it, is giving away um, tickets, right? Like uh, Willy Wonka. She sees him. She sees him in. A, well, oh, we're in the subway again. We're in the subway station, and there's. The, she's in a crowded train, but when she gets off the subway and walks through the tunnel, there's nobody around. There's nobody. Edward's going to stay neutral on this. Smart move. Because, yeah, he loves the movie. So, and, and and a lot of people do. I'm just. I'm. I'm never. I love what Bear can't stand. What I'm always going to be honest with you guys. Yes, turn turn me up, Ginger. Turn me up. Turn me up. Uh, can you hear me better now? Uh, listen, I'm always yes, going to be truthful yes. in movies. If I don't like it, I don't like it. You know what I mean? So, uh, and again, I didn't hate it. I'm there just were a lot surprised. Of I'm I'm really surprised. I was like all week. I was like Dino's going to say he loves this movie and it's a classic, and I'm going to be like. No. This movie bites. <laughs> no. Oh, you were mentioning. Uh, it, well, we didn't get. We can jump all over the place. What the hell? I don't even give a shit. How about that? <laughs> uh, listen, um, Daria Argento's daughter is in this movie. Fiora, uh, Fiori. Um, uh, she's she plays the. Um, I don't know who she is to this blind guy. Who is she to the blind guy? I. I have no idea. How are we she supposed to know? They never tell you anything. Nothing's explained exactly. in this movie nothing's at all. Amen to that, sister. Um, <laughs> nothing's ever explained. Um, they're walking hand in hand. They're walking hand in hand. And uh, next thing I know when they're in this movie theater, she's off into the corner sucking face with this dude that's like bald. And not, not that there's nothing wrong with being bald. You've just, already skipped. That's like midway through the movie, dude. I, I have I'm, notes. I said I'm jumping all over the place. We'll go back to the beginning. I just want to have point notes. It out. I know. I, I'm pointing it out because I'm like, dude, what is going on? What, what, who, Nobody who, knows. Who Nobody anyway, knows. Uh, li li listen, Albert, Albert says that this is a personal favorite for me. It is on my list of top 10 all-time favorites. And this is the thing, Ginger, though. Listen, I've always this said... This is what makes the world go round. Yes. One man's yeah. garbage is another man's treasure. And this <laughs> is my garbage. Yeah, yeah. I've always said this. Some of the worst movies ever made, and this isn't it. Uh, some of the worst movies ever made are, are somebody's favorite films of all time. No matter how bad it is. Pick the worst movie ever made. Somebody thinks that's their favorite Somebody film. loves it. That's right. Yeah. And again, I'm not saying it's not a great movie. I mean, well, I'm, I am saying it's not a great movie. I'm saying it's an okay, fun frolic. How about that? Sean Urshan. Yeah. Like I said, if on? you suspend, suspend all expectations. <clears throat> yes, Sean, I agree. I think it's suspend a lot of fun. all it's expectations for, sure. for a plot. Yes. Sir. yes dialogue character <laughs> development yes. uh, a motive any kind of explanation for why that just suspend all of yeah. that and just understand that this is just argento and what's the special effects not, guy just trying to not, throw no. as many of these lamberto bava lamberto bava not dario yeah they're just trying uh, and, to just throw all these special effects at you all this gore and stuff because they're just having fun yes and yes. none yeah. of it makes sense and, 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 and I agree with, and, and Sean, I agree with you. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm ripping it maybe a little more than I should be here. And I don't mean to be. Uh, I think it's everything that you just said. It's fun, 80s cheese, um, you know, and, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, but. See, I'm I'm a, said it's garbage. <laughs> I'm, out of kick. 
I'm on a kick with these serious kind of, kind of you know agreement. movies right now. And I was this is a first time watch for me. So who knows? Am I gonna watch it again? I'm probably not gonna watch this movie again. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's let's start talking about this movie, man. All right, uh, that's that's what makes horror exactly, Edward Stewart. You got that right. So, so you're in Berlin. I mean, like yeah. you're in Berlin in the 80s. I mean, God, I can just imagine how awesome that would have been. Yeah. And they they go to this theater. They're supposed to be in college. They cut class and they go to this movie. They don't know the title of the movie and the girl, they get to the theater. And yes, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. And Martin says, sounds like crap. Love it. Yeah. You know, exactly. yeah, it's one of those exactly. movies. It's exactly. like a Sunday afternoon when you're not doing anything. You don't really want to pay attention. It's just something you put on the TV and you know, because don't bother paying attention because there's nothing really. How yeah. about the pimp? Let's talk about the pimp. <laughs> yeah. It, it, there's a character. Um, his name is uh, Bobby Rhodes. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's, he's like this pimp character. Uh, he's, he's not a pimp character. Ladies. He's a pimp. He's a pimp. He's got two <laughs> ladies to... Do I call them ladies uh, next to him? And he brings uh, he brings two of his girls the, with him. He's like Shaft, man. He's like he Shaft is. in this movie. He is like Shaft. He's taken down the demons, but uh, and then he becomes one himself. But anyways, um, and he doesn't. One last of his very long. girls is Heather. the beginning of the contagion. Yeah, there's a she, mask. She kind of starts it. Yes. Good old Heather. She she puts that silver mask on because there's things displayed in this theater. Uh, and what's a it dirt called? Bike the, with a dirt bike with, for some Metropo reason, a samurai on it. Yeah, the Metropole. Well, it's it's a good thing the dirt bike, the samurai saw is in there because they yes, use because it a little it bit later Yes, because it comes in on. handy, doesn't it? Yeah, but the mask they put on and it cuts them. And this is where we get into where it imitates what's going on on the movie that they start Oh, yeah, it's seeing. a movie within a movie because they go to the movie theater and they're watching this stupid movie about some kids that go to look for Nostradamus' crypt or something. Yeah, Nostradamus' crypt. They're going to – because he's – hey, you know he's predicted so many things, haven't you? He's, he's, he's really – yeah, you know, and, and then continues to, to look for Did it. Did he predict this, how bad this movie's going to suck? Yeah. Let's find yeah. out. And again, I'm ripping it, but I'm not ripping it. It's it's fun. It's facts fun. are facts. Yeah, facts are facts. But but he's a uh, Heather gets cut on it mask. She gets up after you know the whole thing. You know they're being hollered at and the thing. They're being too loud. You know causing a ruckus. And um, they uh, while on the screen they're looking for all kinds of things and, and killing starts on the screen. Um. There is a knife scene and a slash kind of on the screen, which really isn't in the film. It that doesn't happen in the film. Oh. Know, go on, Ginger. <clears throat> continue. No, no, no. You continue. You were you were uh, yawning because this you? movie bites. Thank <laughs> God it was only an hour and twenty five minutes because I don't know how much more I could have taken. Uh, that theater that they're in. Yes. Yeah. Yes, the movie theater that they're in is awesome. The, I would the, love that to go is, in are, there, although it doesn't exist in that form anymore. Oh, this movie a, had the highest the damn fact. kill count I've ever seen in any movie ever. So many people got killed in this movie. I lost track. I think I counted sixty-eight oh, kills. Or oh yeah. Something. Well, there's been there's been more for sure. Um, uh, it was dirt bike Katani demons. I thought I counted how many there were. Then a helicopter crashed. Yes, yes, that comes towards the little bit towards the end. Um, there but yeah, was, no, there was drug use. <gasps> there was. There listen, was drug use. Listen, so, so you know, you know, they're they're basically watching the movie. Um, the girl Heather gets goes to the bathroom. She. Because she scratched purple. her face when she tried that mask yeah. on being silly. It scratched her when she pulled it off. And apparently yes. the scratch is what makes you turn into a demon, which and is becomes, a zombie. Yes, and becomes an episode of uh, Dr. Pimple Popper MD. Uh, she gets Ugh. this big pimple and it just explodes all over everything. And um, then she turns into a demon. And there's some scenes where the demons look really, really cool. Really, really cool. 
uh, with the lines going through the face, like the blood vessels and all that. You know, and then there's other ones where they just make the eyes red or whatever, and they're running around chasing, going, rah, 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 I'm going to get oh, you. Oh, and um, did we mention – did we mention that uh, attending the movie with the two girls, yeah. uh, attending that movie is also uh, an angry husband and wife who hate each other. Yes. And a blind man with his daughter. Right. Daria or And she's daughter. narrating the movie to him. That's because that's what you he's do. blind. Because he's blind. And a couple, yeah. a young couple who are not paying attention to the movie. They're doing what teenage young kids couple. did <laughs> yeah. at the movie theater. And and who was that? That was uh, it doesn't matter who they are. It's it was Dario Argento's daughter. No, not that one. No, you're talking about the young couple that came in and they were just necking in the back seats. That's not her. His daughter. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. More punk rockers. Yeah. Little ne'er do wells out causing trouble in the street. Oh yeah, some so Billy Idol. They're in there. watching a movie. Okay. Everybody's watching a movie. They're in a movie yeah. theater. They're watching a horror yeah. movie, and then the yeah. horror starts happening on this side of the screen. And then yeah. someone breaks through the screen, so they're yeah. breaking that wall. Yes. Someone breaks through the screen, and they think if they go to the projection room, yes, and stop the movie, amen, that all this stuff will stop. You go, girl. And it doesn't. Yeah. And, and then oh. they think maybe it's the theater. Uh huh. And so then big, now they're trying to get out of the theater. Yes, yeah, a big romp. Yep, it's it's just all all hell lets loose is what happens <laughs> next. Uh, because yeah, they can't get out of this theater. It, so the rest of the movie takes place in this entire movie theater, and it's a big movie theater. Uh, you know, it's it's got it some is. it's got some you know good backstage you know area anyways it's it's really a lot of space and mm -hmm. they picked it so that they can run around everywhere and mm -hmm. you know the, the, I, listen there wasn't even that many people seated where did they all yeah. come from i, I don't um, know where all these people came from there was uh, you know no this, this movie just didn't make any sense but the the one guy that, that got hanged like i'm like what why are they dropping a guy down and hanging him? What, what's going on? Like, it was just a mess. It's just a mess. <laughs> and then they barricade themselves. Instead of trying to get out of the theater, they rip the seats out and barricade themselves inside the theater. Like, what yeah. are you doing? Why no, would you do was, that? Listen, there was a lot of stupid things in the movie. And barricade. And again, it's just dumb 80s cheese uh, you know let's let's barricade the door up let's everybody gets up in a mad panic like they're like infested with some kind of disease and they're already taken over but no they're just humans you know they're not turned yet and they're picking up large you know chair you know seated and throwing it in front of it. it's just so ridiculous and over the top <laughs> and i'm like going what the hell are it's they so ridiculous doing? It's 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 nuts. I mean, this is a tough one to talk about because I tell I you mean, what, though, I tell you what about this movie and why it's a great movie for teenagers. Yeah, uh, it's only an hour and 25 minutes. But this movie, it's not nonstop within like the first 10 minutes when everything starts. It never so, stops after that. It's just going yeah. go one thing after another. It's crazy all the way literally to the end of the movie. It's just nonstop the whole movie. Oh yeah, no, it, it's it's again. Which is a good thing, I guess. Yes, it's a fun movie. Like Albert said, those are the best kind of movies when the shit hits the fan and all hell breaks loose. Survival instinct, uh, instinct, time, time, fight or flight. Yes, yes. Um, it, this is a survival movie. I mean, a survival horror, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, a slasher. It, well, I wouldn't call this a slasher. I'd call it a. There were no knives used, really, except in the, on the screen in the movie. Splatter. I'm sorry. I meant splatter. 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 There you splatter. go. I there meant you splatter. Go. Yeah. Um, and, and they're basically just trying to avoid these demons throughout the entire movie. And but then one Shaft, by one, they start becoming demons. Then they're all becoming demons. Yes. Yes. Shaft takes the lead. Um, <laughs> and and why he's up. Uh, uh, on stage and stuff it's funny that heather comes around and gets dario Argento's daughter and the other the bald guy who's um you know and, and she's strangling them with a cord and it's just like 
why not bite them? Although she did start <laughs> spewing all that sickening stuff. I guess they kept that going with the Italian horror. I mean, it was a little disgusting shooting all that stuff into their mouths all the time. I mean, uh, with well, demons. That's, and that's where, that's where I, th I think they take a little bit from e the uh, Evil Dead uh, mm. with like the pus sacks on the face and just the disgusting uh, makeup effects and all that. Uh, that was done pretty well, and, and and they would get these long fingernails and um, the teeth, you know, the teeth coming the teeth up. Would, that was pretty cool. Yeah, when the yes. girls' te real teeth fell out and the fangs were growing in. Yes, that was pretty cool. And you know, Happy like they, they were just having fun, man. They were just they like, were. let's do this, let's try this. They were just having fun. Oh, and the other thing that happens to them also when they are turned, and happy Halloween, Chris W. Um, <laughs> we'll be saying that all month long. Uh, yes, but when they, please when they do. Turn, when they turn into demons, they also um, get this green ooze that comes out of their mouth. And sometimes out of their skin, out of the postules on their skin. Yeah, it's just like green ooze. And um, the one dude that's necking with Dario Argento's daughter... Um, Somehow the demon hangs him from the ceiling. Yeah, or throws it, throws him over the thing. Yeah, it's, over the balcony, it's, and he he's yeah. hanging. It's like what? Yeah. Why? What? I don't uh, know. Listen, one of the cooler practical effects in this movie is when they get that close up of that uh, the one girl that's changing, and you get a real close up of the mouth, and the hair is over there. The blood's coming out of the mouth. How about the one, the girl that gives birth to one through her back? A demon just comes out of her back, like fully well, grown. Like that thing's bigger than her, and that's been inside of her. I mean, oh. Well, listen, yeah, of of course, yeah, no, and and again, we're jumping all over the place, but that's Kathy <laughs> later on, uh, the two females at the beginning, Kathy and Cheryl, um, who are befriended by the two guys who are trying to hit on them, um, who the, the are two George trust and preppy preppy boys, the college yeah. boys. George you know they're and rich Ken. and you know they're rich and in college because they have their scarf, their sweaters wrapped yeah. around their necks. That's how exactly. you know they're rich. Exactly. Um, but, but they're trying to hit on these girls and, and, you know, score, whatever you want to say, you know, they're trying it doesn't to... end well for either one of those boys. <laughs> Lee Donovan, another great evening with, uh, Dino and Ginger always killer. Cool. They are. Thank you, Lee Donovan. I uh, appreciate it. Um, what hang is around vampire... for the tractor pull. Yeah. A little later. Yeah. What is a vampire's favorite ice cream? Vanilla. Oh, good one. But CM. But um, um, yes, it, the, uh, the practical effects and everything definitely give you the feel of the evil. The dead soundtrack. Movie. The soundtrack's awesome. Uh, that opening scene. Like I had such expectations that opening scene when the, she's on the subway and you see all the punk rockers and yeah. people with bright yellow hair and like, mohawks and all the leather and love the it and stuff that's and my like, scene oh, this is gonna be cool and then that's the yeah. end of it that's the end of the cool right there well again you know yes. people love people love this movie but yeah yes. i agree with you i mean you know i could have been watching something else uh am i glad that i watched this movie eh, i could have passed on it but <laughs> if i knew what it but see you don't know until you watch something you know what i mean so that's the whole fun of it. But, um, yeah, but I mean, you know, now we can say we've seen it. You know, I don't mind being yeah. able to say it. People will talk about demons, demons. Yeah, I saw it. It sucked. <laughs> Listen, there are scenes in this movie, like when everybody starts to freak out and run crazy through this movie theater, they're like ripping down walls and trying to get through. Like, I, I don't know what the hell they're doing. They're, they're just, it's it's they made like, some pretty poor decisions. They made some yeah, some all, poor all decisions poor decisions. <laughs> Not yeah. good choices. And, and uh, you know, you really don't get an explanation, do you, Ginger? Of no, you do not. Of why the they, only thing I can put together, of, like of I said, is that the scratching say, scratching is what say, makes it happen, but why? Yeah. Yeah, no, Who's I was the guy. Was, Who's the guy with the 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 mask who's he why is he there who is again he? again i'm trying to find out i'm saying was there at any point in this movie and there wasn't where they explained why the they they made this theater up into this 
place where the dead will take over the earth. I mean, it's just because at towards the end, we find come to find out that it's not just happening in the movie theater. Yes, it's outside although, too. Yes, it's the entire world. Every it's it's the There's walking fires dead. Fires everywhere. It's dark. It's very scary. Yes, it's the Walking Dead. Everybody's turning. And uh, again, we'll talk about the end towards the end of the show. But uh, why the <laughs> emphasis? Why the emphasis in this movie on the movie theater if it's happening everywhere? Like because this guy specifically gave out tickets. To like come really to that theater to get people into the theater. So you think like, that that's what? where it's going, and and how did it get outside? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, gotta love the li that line. Don't do that. Whoever wears that mask becomes a demon. How do you know? Because it's says in this book, whoever wears this mask becomes a demon. Um, and again, uh, yes. But that doesn't point to the reasoning behind oh, the entire. Well, I said one of the demons got out a back door. Which one? Well, it could have been anyone. There were so many. It could have been anyone. Well, listen though, <clears throat> even that don't explain it. It doesn't spread that fast. Mm -hmm. It didn't come from the theater. One did leave the theater and exit. But the movie is what? I mean, they didn't say exactly how long they were in the theater. But you got to figure if they're in a the theater. Hours. Yeah, a couple hours. Um, when they finally get out, uh, Cheryl and George, right? That's who gets out. Cheryl and George gets out. Um, when they get out, they meet this guy in a Jeep and, and you find out that this is happening everywhere. So that one What's that called that that's a device that they use in movies. And I hope somebody can tell me because now it's going to drive me crazy. It's called something Machina. There were two. There was the helicopter was the first one. The helicopter that inexplicably just falls in. Uh, uh, X Machina. X, something X Machina. It's, it's, a, it's a device that they use in movies. Oh! And uh, the first one was the helicopter. And then the second one was the Jeep. Like this happenstance that you find this machine that has power. I don't know. Uh, I'll look it up. Because now it's going to drive me crazy. Until okay, I yeah, look out. it up. I'm a Evil Dead versus Citizen Kane compared to this. Evil Dead is Citizen Kane compared to this movie. What the? Um, I'm trying to see what Dino. Your hat protects you from demons. <laughs> it, it does. Um, I, I guess. Uh, what kind? What kind of music do demons like? Soul music. Good one, Job. <laughs> um, yes, CM. Dino's hat does protect him. But what of Ginger? No, I can't protect me from Ginger. She's a, yeah, she's a, she's a wild demon herself. Uh, Ian Sharp, what's going on? Nice to see you. <laughs> uh, Deuce Mac uh, Machina uh, says Black Roses. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Deuce, X, Deuce X Machina. Uh, so yes. Who said that? Who said that? Um, well, we have G uh, uh CM I just it. found it. I just Black found Rose it. said it. Ian Sharp. It's well, when a hopeless situation is suddenly solved by an unexpected occurrence. Yeah, there but I thought it was specifically had to do with the fact that these are things that are machines. Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't well, know. Well, the helicopter, because a little later on, the helicopter. How the and, and that goes to show you that things have been going on a lot longer than two hours. It wasn't the person that left the theater because evidently there was a helicopter that was on top of this. Although listen, see, this is what's driving me nuts now because there, <laughs> there wasn't a, a, a helicopter on the theater. The two people inside were killed. Uh, looked like they were demons and they were killed. Okay. But the, the helicopter falls through the theater, right? Am I, am I go, right? It's yes. Ginger? It comes okay. in through the roof. Yes. So if that was up there for a long time, why at the beginning of the movie, did we see everything outside look normal? Cars were moving, crowds, people were walking. Um, life was going on as normal right before they went into the theater. And even while they were in the theater, we get a glimpse of these other characters who are uh, four punkers who uh, 
definitely snorting cocaine out of a coca cola can. can i've never seen that before that was weird well it's to hide the the substance. it is but like um realistically if you were snorting coke from a coke can first of all the coke can would have to be completely dry because otherwise you're pouring coke into wet listen, Ginger, you're ruining like, it. listen to you dissect that I, I would i would say they probably had a cleaned out dried coke can that they specifically used to put the powder in okay so there that's settled and they had a straw in it and um that's what they used to, you know, but they're riding around town listening to some great 80s, U.S. 80s music. Um, although at the beginning it said something about Rick Springfield. I didn't hear a Rick Springfield song in this movie at all. Did you? I I don't I don't know. It wasn't it like one that it, the song that he matter. that he's credited for singing in that movie is one that I never heard of before. So I wouldn't know it if I heard it. I don't know. It wasn't because, any oh, song that I had ever and I had Rick Springfield's. First album with Jesse's Girl and all of that on there. Well, of course you did. Um, yes, by, I did. Unmarked Helicopters by Soul Coughing. What the hell? Uh, Tony Montana. <laughs> Meets I also had head. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, I Love Rock and Roll, and Michael yeah. Jackson's Off the Wall. I bought all those with my own money. Yeah, she liked her rock and roll. Um, so... Uh, so so everything outside seems normal. <laughs> so um, <laughs> everything outside seems normal. And that's what I don't get. And then you're, you're to tell me that a little bit later, chaos has ensued and the whole world has been taken over by demons that quickly. I, I, I don't know. It's just weird. It's a weird thing. But um, again, this is not a seven minute review. This is a one and a half hour discussion on this movie. So what you see in this nitpicking um if i had just seven minutes i would talk about some positive things i would talk about some negative things and then i would say but if you're looking for a really good fun romp 80s cheese this is probably the movie for you i would give it a five out of ten so there you go i already said 50 50 on this one you know it, it was it was fun, but you know it was yeah, very I mean, stupid. The, the, uh, the um the music, the soundtrack, and the the eighty the whole eighties vibe. Yeah. Uh, and the the gory kills and stuff keeps it from being a complete failure. But it's close to being a failure. But there's it has some redeeming qualities, but not enough for me to ever watch it again ever. And okay, then they had uh, a whole bunch of sequels that were not actually sequels. They were completely unrelated to this one, but they called right. them demons. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I have to go back and I have to say thank you to Horror Junkie for life. Uh, in in my restream, I don't get to see that. So I popped over and I, I noticed that you gave five more uh, gifted memberships. And Horror Junkie, thank you so much. Thank uh, you, Horror Junkie. I mean... You're you're growing the channel memberships by leaps and bounds. I, <laughs> I, I hope you know how much I love you, girl. Um, every night, you. just every night, oh, it's amazing. Listen, listen, horror junkie. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for the gifts. Uh, level two memberships to Alex the Large. Sean Wilson got a gifted membership. Uh, Tony Donahue. Um, Mark M was gifted a membership. And relaxing music for uh, sleep was gifted a membership. So you guys all have access now to the movie nights that we have. Come to the movie Friday. nights on Friday. It's a blast. We can say anything we want. Yes, yes. We not only just get together to watch a movie. But, but we talk, we, get, we chat. We also talk before the movie for a, a little bit. Sometimes half an hour. Uncensored. Time uncensored yes well because it's just us listening and, and watching That's a movie right. so usually, usually it's a movie you can't find any any platform because I, I pick out some good movies a lot of times we just watched the gate this past one uh friday uh, and John what, a romp, what a romp the gate was yes the that gate movie was, was fun that was a it, fun fun movie the gate is a great good movie. wholesome yeah. horror for teenagers in the 80s Yes, J O B five demons out of ten. Hmm. Uh, would you give it higher, J O B? Uh, anyways, 
anything now things uh, got interesting uh anything listen nobody understands i i don't know if people think they just come to movie night and just watch a movie no it is way more than just a movie night you know it's it's us hanging out together and and so anyways shane good to see you um john bs uh, wwm <laughs> when do i not say what i want <laughs> when do i not say what i want <laughs> Uh, well, listen. If, if oh, the only know. time I say what I what I what I can't say what I want is when Dino shuts off my mic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> listen. Uh, what's what's this all about? Uh, Albert uh, Demons and It's a Wonderful Life movie. Any similarities in those two films that anyone can identify? Is this a joke or no? Let's think about it. Okay. Let's let think, me think about it. Demons and It's a Wonderful Life. Um, no, no, I don't see anything. If there is, Albert, you let me know because I don't see no comparisons. Uh, and it's a wonderful life. It's it's about, uh, you know, George Bailey. It's almost, like a, it's almost like an Ebenezer Scrooge type deal. Yeah, George Bailey sees what his life is like without, if he wasn't there. Where this movie ties into that, I, I don't see it at all. So, uh, you may be goofing with me, Albert. I don't know. And he doesn't like it when you goof with him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't mind fun, but you know, I don't mind uh, the other. Uh, NB, I watched Don't Be Afraid of the Dark today. I bet that scared kids in the 70s. Listen, NB, uh, I, I did a whole commentary on that on the channel uh, a couple years ago. Uh, that is a fantastic movie, Ginger. Don't be afraid. That's what the one with the. Uh, there's these, like these little creatures that kind of live in the chimney uh, in the basement area. It's just a really weird, crazy movie. It, it's a, a, a when great. When did it come movie. out? Is it an '80s movie? No, it was um '70 something. Um, I'm pretty sure a made-for-TV movie. Um, anyways, uh, on with the this movie. <laughs> Do we continue talking about this movie? Okay. Uh, Listen, eventually those people. Okay. So we're the, the vehicle with the punkers. Okay. They're the doing what? the Coke, the punkers outside the punkers, driving the uh -huh, car yeah, yeah. with the Coke can. Um, they're out there. And um, uh, the blonde haired girl who's got the little leather vest that she's got on. Let me tell you this. This is a little quick story because she reminded me of it. Um, when I was a teenager, when I was 14 years old, I remember this. I always remember this. Any li little male teenager who has this happen to them um, will never forget it for the rest of their life. But when I turn um, this up, there was there was a I, I was at the grocery store. I was in the frozen meat section. I was there with my mom. I think grocery shopping. What was the name of the grocery store? Um, at the time, I believe it was called Finest. Finest. Yes, it ended up. And they turning... had their own brand name. I remember they had their own brand name stuff. Finest brand. Yeah, there you go. So I'm uh, in the store doing my thing I'm by myself. I'm just you know whatever. I I see this woman. You know, she's a woman to me. She had to be maybe twenty, mid twenties, something like that. She's 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 in the meat section. She's about five feet from me, and she starts inching her way, looking at the meat. She's wearing the, and this is no joke. I'm not making a joke. This really happened, and it's a memory burned in my brain. She she walked like she was till she was like a foot from me, and that's when I noticed the leather vest with no bra underneath it. She bent down to get meat out of there, and she hovered for a minute or so, and 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 I'm looking over there going. Oh my god, I think it might have been the, the first like woman's like you know that I've seen it, you know. I and I'm just looking and it was just oh my god. But anyways, this kind of reminded me of it because she's kind of wearing a vest like that, and uh you see her boob in the car. Remember when he's trying to take the coke off of her <laughs> chest? No, no, uh, I don't am, am, I, that. am I veering off into a direction you don't want to proceed into? I'm not into chicks, Dino. I keep telling you, I don't look at stuff like oh, that. Oh, that's right. Shoot. Okay, so uh, go ahead. You got notes. Uh, uh, let us have my it. note says my note says no plot, no logic, just a pseudo zombie blood and guts fest. 
<laughs> you literally was going to, you're just going to sit there and just be quiet. <laughs> What if I had to pee really, really bad? <laughs> uh, <laughs> someone shell shocked. Okay, so go on. What, what do you got? What do you got going on? <laughs> I got nothing. You got nothing. I got nothing. You're done. Okay, so Edward wraps it up. He says, "Fantastic film." And children shouldn't play. Oh, a different film. Um, <laughs> fantastic film, and children shouldn't play with dead things. Alan and Anya Ormsby. Listen, uh, Children Shouldn't Play with Dead Things is a fantastic movie. Um, I love that film. That that have you ever seen that, Ginger? The, children, um, there's children no the final. Children, children, what? Children shouldn't play with dead things. It's a zombie movie it's from the seventies. Got some beatniks in it, you know. It's some real cool. Doug would love it. Yeah, man, real groovy. Where you at, Doug? Come out of the word work and play. Can you come play with us? Okay, so the the, the car of punks uh, run into the theater, and the next thing you know, there mm -hmm. oh there was that that machine that gives you pop cans. You know, you, you put money in it, and it gives you pop back or something like that. Yeah, it's called a pop machine. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, um, what happens to that ginger? You. Remember They move it around and it's just, they pick it up. It's, it's, I swear to God, it's made out of tin or a cardboard. It's so light. I know it's an observation. I'm just saying. Um, oh, and then the blind guy, the blind guy gets his eyes gouged out. It's not enough that he's already blind. Now you take his eyes out too. I mean. And when, when they, when they gouged his eye out, eyes out, the blind man, did he turn into a demon or was he? Just walking around and he's fine because his eyes, he's blind anyway. I think he, can he was fine. I think he was fine. He just. So if you're blind, you can have your eyes gouged, gouged out and you won't bleed to death? Yes, because everything in this movie is completely based in fact. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I can't stand him. <laughs> I can't oh, there's a stand scene, There's you. a scene where the blind punker chick goes I'm up so done. <laughs> <laughs> so they're running around now and they're all okay so let's wrap let's wrap no we got a half an hour left we don't we don't have to wrap this uh this discussion up it's you know what th this movie is hard to talk about because it's so it's bad. so simple it's, it's so, so bad. This, this not that it's so bad it's just this, it's, it's, it's great. bad it's like a nine out of ten but it's it's such a simple who movie. said it's a nine out of ten I did. It's a nine out of ten. This is that's not what you said. This is like uh, Lamberto I was there. Baba. I was this, there. I know what you like, said. And it listen, wasn't nine out like, of ten. This is Lamberto Baba's uh one of his best movies he's ever made. It doesn't say much because he hasn't made a lot, but um he uh there was a demons two, yeah, fantastic. Um three and four, but three and four had nothing to do with anything. With I think there was more movies. than that. There could have been. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not uh, an expert on this. Are you? I give it a 9 out of 10. This is a oh, fantastic Tina, You're an expert film. on everything, aren't you? But um, I kind of. Um, but, <laughs> but listen, this was a simple story, and it's hard to really take anything from it other than having fun um right am i wrong no you're not wrong but horror junkie i don't have time to read books i don't have time to read books we should do horror book reviews too oh god yeah um i don't uh, have time to read books yeah i hear you horror junkie um you know, when i read books they're cheap trashy romance novels oh. that's what i read oh god um <laughs> E e oh, that deserves her to take a break. Uh, she's in time out for a little while talking about a romance novel. Uh, Boy Wonder says, sorry, guys, for being late. Just got back from visiting my brother. You're always popping in and apologizing for being late. Listen, you have no. You mixing a martini? 
Um, <laughs> yeah, listen, you, you never have to come in and apologize. Just pop in and say, hello, guys. Nice to see everybody today. And um, I'll wave back to you. Uh, much love to you. I know you love the channel. Um, but it seems like you're popping in to say hi, then you're out of here. So hopefully you at least get to enjoy the channel and listen to some stuff. Um, uh, speaking of, the overnight tonight, uh, the old time radio is... is uh, Oh, do you know, I love the spooky one last night. I love the spooky one. I love that oh, one. Oh, awesome, awesome. Very that, well, disturbing. That, Very yes. disturbing. I did that on purpose. But anyways, um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, go back and check out the spooky stream last night if you're not up for... The show tonight is a little misleading overnight. Uh, high adventure. Um, sounds like, oh my God, they're going to be traipsing through the jungles or uh, traveling off to some country. Or... Is it about them smoking the devil's lettuce? High yeah, adventure? Like... So high adventure is kind of like a, kind of like escape and suspense kind of intertwined. So it's it's got a little bit of that intrigue and thriller type uh, feel to a lot of these, uh, shows. They're very well written. Um, they're, they're, they're excellent, excellent programs. So just because it says high adventure, because when I put some adventure shows up, sometimes people go adventure. Oh, I'm out of here. Give it a chance. These are some starting with the very first one. There's, there's some good, good stories. Uh, anyways, I'm going to take a nap now. So, uh, finish out this, um, uh, discussion. I'm generally. embarrassed to say what kind of beer it is. It's the cheapest beer you can get at the poppy store down on the corner. I'm scared. I don't even want to tell you what kind of beer it is. No, no. It is not but a fine pilsner. <laughs> Terry Collins says hello. And outside the nine says hello, everyone. Best channel, best people. Thank you very much. Lee Donovan says I'd hit the like button 100 times if I could. Thank you very much. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the prices. What? Um, okay. So, well, Chris W, the, the beautiful thing about, uh, you know, modern technology is we can listen to books now, which is a great thing, but it would take oh, more audio. than a couple hours to listen to an entire I love audio book. book. I love audio books. Yeah. Me too. They're great. Especially in the car. Oh, they're my favorites. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I get the book and I'll play the rate, the, uh, the audio book. Okay. While I got the book open. And I'll pretend like I'm reading. It gives you this kind of feeling like you're actually accomplishing reading a book. But you're kind of cheating, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So I do like to read hardcover um, books with the audio books going. Um, sometimes I'm not on the right page, but it really doesn't matter. When I know I'm getting towards the end, I kind of, you know, hurry up and get Ooh, there we, you know, is this gonna so, take a really long time no i'm done that's it <laughs> but th See, that i can't really... cut your mic like you can just to completely cut me i i don't have that power like i can't do that you, you can say shut up um no i'm uh, not gonna tell you to shut up <laughs> uh, martin, Wright says, <laughs> martin Wright says zero out of ten because ginger was drinking beer and did not give me it oh okay i got you Okay, so listen, we can wrap this ending of this movie up really quick, or or we cannot. We can prolong it still. Um, um Sharon Ken. Tony uh, the pimp. Tony the pimp. Oh, are we still there? Oh, geez, go on. Kitty cat. Seen seen the kitty cat in the background. Just walked in a room. Ghost cat. Uh, go on, Ginger. Shaft. Woohoo. No, go ahead. I didn't know what part you wanted to start off with and end us. Yeah. Tony the pimp. Oh, okay. <laughs> he comes okay. back for another, is it an Argento movie or uh, a Baba movie? He comes back. Oh, yeah. He, he plays in some, yeah, another uh, Baba movie. Uh, and Demons 2, he's back. Uh, but. Oh, you saw a cat? Thanks for bringing. Yes, I seen your black cat walking back there. She's uh, not black. People. She's gray. Her name is Blue. She looks black. She's not black. She's gray. Her name's Blue. She looks black. <laughs> she's not. She's she's gray. She's blue. Yes, she's a Russian blue. 
Well, and her name you know, is Blue. Your lighting has messed things up and looks like a black cat. Uh, but very beautiful gray, uh, blue. She's my cat. sweet, sweet old gal. She's moon 14. Cat. Okay, so coolest scene in the movie, Ginger, um, before we end this up. Uh, it's probably scene in the movie. Everybody's gonna say it was the stupid dirt bike with the guy with the katana, blah blah blah. And he killed whack, 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 killed a bunch of people. Um, well, you know what? I think the best, the coolest part of the movie is actually when Kathy dies and the demon comes out of her back. I thought that was probably the coolest part of the movie. If you're a horror fan, seeing that little thing come out of there. It was reminiscent of, if you guys ever seen The Manitou, have you guys ever seen that? Uh, it was about this, uh, oh God, a demon that started growing on the back of this. The camera's over here, Ginger. Ginger, camera's here. Okay. Um, the Ginger, the ca the camera's here. I'm right? talking to my cat. Proceed. We can't, we can't talk to the back of your head. Oh, Jesus, criminy. Uh, okay. So uh, it's it's reminiscent of the Manitou. The Manitou grew out of the back and kind of burst it out. And this demon went, Ooh! Anyways, and it was a very disturbing, weird, supernatural kind of horror flick and um, it sounds absolutely terrible <laughs> oh you would you would hate it yeah it's um <laughs> but but the demon that comes out of here is kind of cool it, it almost looks like the gargoyle in gargoyles uh the made for tv movie uh, looks a bit like that in in facial form but um uh yeah no very very cool uh rj so, uh, what are we doing wednesday there dino what are we doing wednesday well, our, well, we got to wrap the movie up, but RJ says, be right back. Quick bowel movement. Um, I hope it comes out nice and easy for you, RJ. Uh, you know, uh, if, if you have any trouble, uh, it's either a quick way with x lax or... You're what gonna goes on in this world? What you're going to have to take on? it nice and slow. What goes on? Oh, he was. I'll give him another chance. He's probably being a jackass. But listen... <laughs> um, so what, what ends up happening at the end of this movie? Here we go. Let's wrap this up and then we'll talk. I about don't remember. This. Tell it. I don't remember. Then, then she, then we we'll come thought up. that she got away. I thought that she was going to get away. I thought she was going to be the final girl. Uh, me too. Me too. I thought the same exact thing. But here's where Dino goes into really quick uh, uh, explanation of, of the rest of the movie. Because, um, okay, what happens is, uh, yeah, the, the two young chicks that were necking in the back seat, they get into this vent system and they got crawl all the way up. But needless to say, she ended up getting something and blood and she turned into a demon. And he thinks he's crawling out to safety with her and they're all having a good time with popcorn and ice cream and going, woohoo, we're in the vent. <laughs> we're having a party in the vents. And what actually ends up happening is she turns around and she, she, she kills him and bites him. So those two are dead. And uh, the last two people you get, because uh, Ken and George, the two guys that are going after Kathy and Cheryl, uh, those two guys end up um, running around together with the two girls. And Ken ends up getting it and Kathy ends up getting it. So those two end up becoming demons. And I love how Ken just wants pity. And he's going, George, just kill me, man. You know, I'm going to just, I'm going to kill everybody. So just kill me. Please do it. And I love how they get a close up of George and he's looking at him. He's crying. He's going, oh my God. They I'm don't tell you me. how you get rid of a demon either. They don't explain to you. No. Like, oh, people are like Dawn of the there. Dead where it has to be a headshot. You have to remove the head from the body no. like Highlander. Who knows? Who Can knows? you stab it? I mean. Who knows? Night Freight Talk Show. Uh, his just flares out. Anyways, uh, hey, hey, isn't that Devin Graham? Hey there, Dino. What's going on? Hey, Devin Graham. Meet Ginger. Uh, anyways, so uh, you got Ken. You got George. You're kind of this romantic thing going back and forth. Oh, I don't want to kill my best friend. Oh, my God. What am I doing? You know, it, very poorly acted. Very poorly acted. Uh, but again, when you're dubbing poorly acted voices over the yeah, it just was terrible. Anyways, they die. Ken and Kathy's gone. This is like, um, this is like, uh, yeah, Nosferatu, where uh, the cast it was a multinational cast. They didn't all speak yes. the same language, and so oh. they had to go back post production and dub the stupid dubbed voices in. It, that's what happens in a lot of the like late seventies, early eighties Italian horror films Italian, up to yeah. this one. Uh, they always got international actress, 
actors and actresses, French, Italian, German, whatever, and they dubbed over their voices. And that's why everything's out of sync. Uh, some voices don't sound very good at all. And in this movie, it represents it very well that it sucks. They did a very bad job at that. But, um, you know, what uh, you mentioned the posters now that I was on a rampage here talking about the ending of this movie. But the, did you notice in the theater there were posters of all there was a Nosferatu poster. There was a um, creep What's show poster. Gray fly on a gray flannel or something. Yeah, there were there were quite a few other. Oh, posters. And at the beginning of the movie, when she gets off the subway train, when she gets yeah. out of the subway, yeah. who's behind her when she gets off the subway? Um, uh, uh, Baba, he gets off behind her. He makes his little cameo. Oh, she gets off the train cameo. in the subway station. Yeah. And a couple people get out, and one of them is Lumberto Bava. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations to him for being on film in his own picture. Okay, so now we got Cheryl and George, okay, now that he killed Ken. Uh, they find, uh, all of a sudden, they find the, the darn vent. And they're going to climb in there and work their way out too, right? So. Yeah. Uh, or does that not happen? Do, I think they work their way up to the roof, don't they? Yeah, that's what happens. Of course, because why wouldn't you go up to the roof? Why wouldn't you? Well, you they go the whole up to the world out there at street level, but let's go up to the roof. Yes, yes, because when the helicopter went through the ceiling, their goal was to get to the roof. That He's like, that's where we got to get. So mm -hmm. they end up getting up there. And who's up there? Uh, the Phantom of the Opera guy with the uh, metal... Uh, you know, blow oh, We still thing. don't find out what, like, what's his deal? Why is he there? What, like, we still don't find out why, and he dies. I have no idea. But, but what they're going to do is, uh, and it's funny, George ends up even looking like Bruce Campbell at the end of Evil Dead. You know, he's got his sleeves off, he's all sweaty and coma, you know, so I don't know, it had an Evil Dead feel to it. That, that's all I know. But, uh, nevertheless, there, uh, was, did I miss something here? What's going on? A uh, Chris W. Woohoo. I enjoy the, watching Nostrato recently with the Patreon group. It was especially. Yes, the uh, movie watching. nights are always a blast. Yes, yes, always yes. Always a blast. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so they get to the roof and, but what they do is they shoot this, the, what are those called? A Batman repel, used to a repelling hook or repel. Yeah, yeah, a repelling hook or whatever. It's a James there. Bond thing. The James Bond thing with the. Oh, it's a Batman thing too. <laughs> you know, he's got it in his belt. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, pow. Um, so. They make their way and it, it goes into that dude, you know, and they work their way up to the to the roof and they end up killing him up there by pushing this rod. Oh, look at the black cat, um, Azrael uh, of the abyss. Uh, they take this pole and they're pushing down his face into these two rods that go directly into his eye, uh, keeping up with the gore that Italian horror films are good for. Um so that happens, and they kill him, and they work their way down uh, to the alley and get ready to run away. Uh, Wolfman82, what's going on? And um, how does this movie end? Uh, we got George and Cheryl running to the Jeep. And, and take it from there, Ginger. I don't remember. I Just finish this okay. already. Okay. God. Okay, I'll finish it. Oh, geez. The girl we got, that we yeah. thought was going to be the final girl wasn't. She died, and then I was like, ah. Well, listen. Okay, so Cheryl... And George see this Jeep pull up and they go get in. And there's a father, a daughter, and a little boy. And, um, you know, just acting fantastically. Their, their acting is just wonderful. And, and, uh, they what? Take, and the Jeep takes off. And with, after a little bit of, you know, goings on in the Jeep, and they, you think the movie's over. The credits start to go up. And you think they're on their way to a farm or something, you know, like Walking Dead. You know, let's get away from this. Let's get out in the field. But what ends up happening is evidently Cheryl got scratched or something like that. If you made it to the very end of this movie. And um, the final skip. girl, the girl we thought was going to be the final girl. He ended up becoming a demon, too. And they turn around and I think it was the boy. He he boom shoots her. She flies off. And then they end the film like that. And in Italian... And the credits start rolling and you rage at the sky and the heavens. Well, because... <laughs> why, as... God, why did I just waste an hour and 25 minutes of my precious, precious life? Well, listen, listen, I think that's a little harsh, a little <laughs> harsh. 
Uh, hey, the trash stash is here. Bob from House by the Cemetery rescues them. Yes, yes. Driving the Jeep. Driving the Jeep. Um, very good. And good to see you, trash stash. Uh, anyways, um, yes. So in Italian style, they end the movie like that. And you're just. I, like they I, just ran out of film. They ran out of film and they were like, look, we got to wrap this up. We were like how the three stooges used to end. Just end, yes. the, just end it. You just have to end it. We were out Listen, of film. We got no more film. A lot of, a lot of these films ended that way. And um, don't know why it was just, it had to be the style. They just wanted to continue to continue it on. I mean, a lot of these movies didn't get second films, you know, even the greats, you know, like, uh, from most of these people. Did John Capocitti asked you a question. John Capocitti. What did he ask me? He said, did you? Did anyone ever tell you that you sound like David Letterman? High praise indeed. I sound like David Letterman. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wow. He hasn't heard your Maxwell hey, Smart Paul. yet. Hey, your Maxwell Paul. Smart. Hey, Paul, what's going on over? Are you playing some music? Kick, 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 kick. David Letterman. Uh, anyways, um, I'll have to work on smart this. that sounds exactly like your Howard Cosell. I am. This is <laughs> Howard Cosell. We have just wrapped up another episode of Sunday Night Smackdown with Dino and Ginger. Stay tuned anyway. for the tractor pull. So that was Cosell. Now do your now do your Don Adams. Listen, I'm not doing uh Missed it by that much. They sound exactly like I'm sorry. Missed it by that much. <laughs> Anyways, uh, listen. Hey, I've got to work on more, more voices. I used to be so good at voice acting. Um, oh God, please do tell me more. That's in hot. person. <laughs> oh, that's so hot. Uh, um, anyway, so so listen, Ginger, are you like me then? And you'd give this like what? A five out of 10. Okay, so you're right on board with me. Uh, five out of 10. Uh, very good. Um, what do you guys say? Letterman is legend. Yeah, the early Letterman was great. I mean, heck, even as an old guy right now, the guy's still fantastic and funny. But anyways. Um, and we can't forget Paul Schaefer. <laughs> Paul Schaefer. <laughs> Thanks, Dino and G Gigi. Uh, good stuff. No hard feelings on anything. <laughs> Just good old talk. Tough. Hey, if anybody gets upset, uh, Edward Stewart, if anybody gets upset by... Um, wait, wait, like, wait. Did something happen that I missed? What happened? No, 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 no. He, he loves the films, and we, we're just like... We were kind of ripping Oh, I'm here. sorry, Edward. But, I'm just... But no, you know, no, just but an opinion. Good. You know how everybody's got an opinion, right? Yeah, no, no. Uh, Tell Penny I said hi. Yes, yes. Much love to Penny. Much love to you, Edward. Uh, been missing you at night, but I know you pop in there in the mornings. Um, oh, thank you, Rich Cat. I did a little nail art today. I did a little nail art. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, thanks. Oh, I already played that. Uh, the, the one thing uh, about movies, uh, discussions, uh, Everybody's got differing opinions. You and know, some people so. feel very strongly about the movies that they love. Y yes, yes. But uh, one thing uh, you never do is get upset. I mean, it, I, we try to stay entertaining uh, while giving honest opinions on. And our Dino careens film. wildly off track frequently. Well, listen, do you want me to just be like, Every other show out there, and, and no, just... absolutely not. Well, I got the hard case coming <laughs> in the mail tomorrow. Gonna put it up on my shelf. It'll be my fourth copy. And this and one is the great. extended version that has the special features at the end. Let me look. Hold on. And it comes with a poster. Let me look at the chat for a minute. Oh, Penny. Seems, seems that. Th anyways, anyways, no, you're not going to get that here. You're going to get wild, crazy antics. I'm being myself. This this is, there's no other way to be. I mean, come on. Um, this show is always fun, says Lee Donovan. Uh, cool. A pleasure to hang out with you all. Dino Ginger always rock the whore. Hell yeah. Legend is here. 
He's just popped in and he says, What's I was good surprised. In the hood? Yeah. When Dino and I were prepping before we came on live and he yeah. said that he was not so crazy about this movie. I was surprised because Dino is, you know, his taste can be rather lowbrow. Um, <laughs> what? Listen. So I was a little surprised that we were. So Ginger has really bad taste in movies. And the thing is that everything I cover is just like masterpieces most of the time. But when it comes to, listen, Ginger, <laughs> when it, a lot of these are first time watches for me that I'm doing uh, on the show here with that we do here. So, uh, you know, I don't know what they're going to be like sometimes. So most of the stuff I've been liking, but this one, I gave it a shot. I still think it's a fun watch. If you were with friends, if, if you're like me, you know, and no and one's like you, Dino. Uh, true continue if you're like if you're like me and you know you've reached a point to where enough with the fluff um i want to see some good films uh sitting through a movie like this yes it got me a little aggravated at the end going oh my god this is next just... sunday what movie are we yeah. doing next sunday next sunday we're doing another brian de palma film we are going to do blowout with the beautiful nancy allen and the hunk of featuring a love. my John, town, Philadelphia. John, featuring John Travolta. My town. What's featuring John Travolta? And he's like, uh, he's like really weird, and he's he's gonna do his. Th he hears a blow. He's not like that. He's not like that. He's, a, he's not like that in this movie. Oh no! This is a whole different John Travolta. This is a. And serious... who else is in this movie? John. John. Lithgow. Lithgow. This well, movie is this movie scary. Is, this movie is, it is scary. frightening. It's, it's frightening, is what it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it's a blowout. It's, the movie's going to blow up. Blow right? Isn't that what happens? I have. You know what I wanted to ask you? I have some publicity shots from when the movie Blowout premiered here in the city of Philadelphia at a theater that is no longer there because they tore the theater down and built Liberty Place there, the two iconic skyscrapers in Center City, Philadelphia. Okay. I have some press shots from the night that they premiered that movie, and it's John Travolta standing on the street in Philadelphia, Nancy Allen standing on the street in Philadelphia, it's 17th and I guess that's Chestnut. Well, if you can uh, get them to me, uh, we'll, we'll show I them. I will. Yeah, yeah. Angie Dickinson yeah. standing out there on the street of Philadelphia when the movie premiered here. The Trash Dash says, I like demons, but I'm a much bigger fan of Lumberto, Lumberto Baba's other films, especially Delirium. Uh, I'll have to give um, that a We watch. should check that out. I had, this is my first Baba yes, movie. This is my first Baba too. Believe it or not, uh, I've been diving into a lot of these Italian uh, directors and loving it, loving it, loving it. It's been fantastic. Uh, I, I'd say Giallo films are some of my uh, favorite things to watch as of late. And um, again, getting back to Blowout, it's it's about a movie. The movie's about this car. It's and about a sound technician. It's, it's, a, guy about, a, sound it's technician. about a flat fire. That, going around he, the city no, looking no. for sounds. Yes. That's a different film. This film's about uh, this kid. He, th he throws a box of nails from a hardware store. He gets pissed off. He throws, he's got a typical 10-year-old. Throws the box of nails out in the street. And all of a sudden, this car just drives past and just boom. And he gets a flat tire and it's just a blowout. And uh, then you get this uh, like crazy lunatic uh, mechanic that comes out. And says, "Kid, get out of here! What do you do, huh? You leave, you leave." And but what he, are we doing Wednesday? And, and he goes to the, the person in the vehicle, though, who's trying to change the tire. He goes, "For fifty dollars, I change your tire." He says this to him, and um, he goes, "But, but what do I do? What do I do?" Everyone, I'm just along for the ride, too. I have no idea what's going on right now. I'm right with you. I'm just along for the ride. Just hold on tight. He says, what do I do? What do I do? The car, it's flat. I can't push it in your man. And the guy goes, I'm a mechanic. I'm a mechanic. I go take it. I pull it in. He had two brutes, remember? They came out and they pulled that car in with rope. And um, 
I think the movie ends there. It's a short flick. Thank God. But <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, lady. Uh, anyways, um, so Blowout's going to be fantastic. Um, I haven't seen that in a long time. Uh, great movie. Fantastic. Gonna yes, going to enjoy that. Uh, he's got great giallos, Delirium, A Blade in the Dark, Midnight Ripper. Those are all great. Uh, also, he did a sci-fi one called Blast Fighter. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Um, his dad was Mario Baba. Of course, I do know that the trash stash. <laughs> I, I know my Italian horror. It's just some of these, uh, like Baba, I haven't watched a whole lot of his films. I know him. I know a lot about him uh, and his father, Mario. And, and you know, it, so, yeah, I got you. Um, definitely will check out those. Uh, Blade in the Dark I, I, is one and Midnight Ripper that I heard I should give a check. Uh, so who knows when we'll be doing that. But um Yes. Uh, what about this Jim, Wednesday? What are we doing this Wednesday? Um, blood, blood and in- lace. Blood and lace. We are going to do that movie. Never heard um, of it. What's that? I never heard of it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Um, let me let me pull off, pull, pull up, pull off. Let me pull off my stuff. Oh, yeah. Um. Anyways, let me go to the lives real quick here. Um. Yes, this Wednesday, well, first of all, uh, Tuesday, we're going to have some paranormal talk with the Tracy. Late Night Coffee Talk is back. She's feeling much better, thank God, with her being sick and everything like that. So uh, that's good. Um, Wednesday will be Blood and Lace, 1964. That is a Mario Bava giallo oh, yes, film. there's a yes. connection. And it's a 1964. It's an early one. And you get to see, like, the aesthetic of this film is a beauty. It's it's beautiful. It's so 60s. Hmm. It's just something. So, anyways, yeah. I, I, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, this Thursday, we do got, we've got paranormal shows all the way up through Halloween. Uh, this one will be with uh, FPI Unsolved. Uh, I'll be doing. And... She'll be talking about uh, near-death experiences, and she has tons of stories uh, dealing with the morgue. Uh, they've visited plenty of uh, their paranormal investigations were in a morgue, and she's got plenty of stories around that. So that's going to be very cool. And then we are on for movie night, which will be, who knows, the poll goes up tomorrow. And next Saturday, Black Cat Trivia Night, 1934, Black Cat. And then blow out, and then yeah, yeah, so on, so on, so on, so on, and so forth, and this and that. And then um, Tuesday comes, Wednesday leaves, Thursday's here, right around the corner. I don't know; it gets confusing after that. But I know Friday, and then Saturday, that, um, and Sunday that are good English weekend. Woman, oh, what? That what? English woman who's a witch, I believe. Witching. Oh, Sherry. Sherry, you know, Sherry who was on? Yes, that's later. That I believe that's October twentieth. That we'll be talking with um, Sherry um, about witchcraft. Uh, she's the real deal. And you will not want to miss that. If you're into that stuff, um, we will be talking about all kinds of things. And there will be a warning before the show about what we're talking about. Because we're going to dive into what things are used for, what kind of things you use for for casting and oh all that stuff yeah it's so 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 stay tuned stay tuned um thank you lee donovan connie uh trash dash good to see you here for sure justin everybody uh horror yes, junkie again. black roses nancy allen was also in robocop yes 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 beautiful woman anyways uh <laughs> i said that already uh she's uh what was I going to say? Um, I don't know what I was going to say. Yeah. Much love to good each night, Grace. <laughs> good night, Grace. Uh, good night to each and every one of you. It was another fun stream, even though it was a simple movie. Um, that's all I can say. So uh, <laughs> see you guys at the uh, old time radio stream tonight. Uh, I'll give uh, Ginger the last word. <laughs> 